Alright, so we have both dials set on zero, and we're going to adjust the trim on our router and make sure it's square to the bed. And in order to do this, you do need a dual dial indicator like what I'm using here. Um, there are other rough ways to do it using the Allen key or there's you know different ways to do it manually uh, but to actually get a measurement you need one of these devices. So what we'll do is we'll bring it down until we get contact off of one point. Uh, make sure it's zeroed out and then we'll move it down until we get contact off the other one and then we'll know the difference and how much it is out of tram um, or you know not level so the way this works is uh, once you get contact on one point you know you zero everything then you move the gantry down till you get needle movement on the other one and then that shows you the difference between them uh, or your angle uh, deflect or your angle that the gantry is sitting uh, so this one we're off right around ten thousandths of an inch uh, so we're going to make a slight adjustment on the gantry mounts uh, but before we do that we're going to measure this in two more places on the bed I can't really go to the inside outside so I will go to the far end of the bed and then the middle of the bed and uh, we'll along the same line that I'm on now and uh, we'll check it and see what it looks like now we're on the other end of the bed uh, we'll check this measurement uh, oddly enough these are actually even uh, so what we'll do is we'll move to the middle of the bed between the front and the rear and make a measurement again and see which one it varies with um, it could be a problem with the, the end of this bed it could be the rail I'm on you know, I could go from inside to outside on this end I have room to do it and take more measurements but uh, we'll go to the middle and double check it okay so what we'll do is we'll take measurements here in the middle of the bed uh, we'll make sure this rail is clean get the dust off of it so we have a good contact and even and we'll see what these gauges look like so give me a second we'll uh, adjust this one and we're going to zoom in for you all right so let's move this down until we get contact all right so both needles moved so we'll back it up a little bit and we'll move it in small increments so we get the uh, left one just where it just moved and then back up and that will give us our distance and it looks like it's about the same as the far right or where we first took our first measurement about uh, a thousandth of an inch so that means that the far end uh, that was last at you know there's something odd going on with the bed on that end I don't cut on that end so I'm not worried about it a whole lot uh, we're going to tram it for these other two locations because I was putting the gantry on earlier, tightening it up. I did square it up with the right angle to the bed. Uh, so what I've done is I've loosened up the bolts and let it relax back uh, where it was. And the needles are lining up. Uh, it's actually leveled it out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the Z-axis down a hundredth of an inch and we'll see if they track together. So yes, they both moved the same amount, and they're pointing same same number. So that's a very good sign. Uh, so we're going to tighten everything up and double check it. Now let's check this end. I do believe it's going to be the same, but we'll double check it to make sure. So let's move it down. We'll have. And yes, both needles are identical, so that's good. That's very, very good. Right, so that takes care of the y-axis so what we'll do is rotate these around and do the x but I don't think I'm gonna have enough clearance with these boards in place so I'm gonna have to do it on the other end of the machine but we'll double check no it does not look like I have enough room so I'll move it to the other end and I uh, will try it from there Now these beds are made up of sections um, and there's a slight play in the sections not a whole lot but just ever so slight 
but I'm going to be contacting one wide and one narrow of two different sections. Uh, if need be, I could move to different sections on the bed to double check it, but we'll see what it looks like and uh, take some other measurements and just see see what, where we go. So what we'll do is we'll move it down and uh, get a contact and see what we have. Right. So now we got contact. Move it a little bit further. All right, so we're just off a hair. So it looks like we may be off by about uh, a thousandth. Uh, so what we can do, uh, there is a little bit of play in the router mounting uh, bracket that we might be able to make that up with. But we'll check it in a few other places to see what it looks like and go from there. So we moved a little bit to the left. We'll double check it here. And yeah, it looks like it's off pretty close to about the same amount. Uh, so let's check uh, one or two other places and just to verify. Now our waste board was machined down with the uh, old gantry before. Um, so we know it's pretty level. So we'll double check it. Uh, this is a third point of verification. So let's just move it on down. See what we have. Yeah, looks pretty close to the same as the other ones, uh, about a tenth of an inch. So we'll adjust the uh, router mounted bracket and uh, get those loose and see if we can get this taken out. All right, now using my 5 millimeter Allen, I was able to loosen all four bolts. And like I said, there's very little play in it, but there is just enough that I was able to, to angle it and correct the difference that I had in the, the uh, dial indicators. Uh, so once we got, you know, got that set up, we went ahead and tightened it back up and we're good to go.